What is up everybody, my name is Buckalone, and I got a special video for you guys. So this is the three new guns that just came out through the new map of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Buried. So uh, the three guns are Ray Gun Mark II, Revolver New Model, and the Paralyzer. So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, what their effects are and uh, just uh, what they're useful with and uh, if this would be good in a tight situation or not what. So I'll just be telling you guys a little bit of facts of what I know so far about the guns and uh, so let's get started. So the first gun that we're going to do is probably one of the most famous guns that everybody is probably most excited for which is the Ray Gun Mark II. So, uh, this beast gun, it can go through trains like no other. So, it's a three round burst gun, and basically, but you can pull it as fast as you can. So, it's almost like it's a fully automatic, but it's kind of like the chuck hum from the multiplayer of uh, Black Ops 2. Because uh, it's three round burst, but you can keep on pulling as fast as you can. So, it's almost uh, acting like it is a, uh, a automatic. So uh, this thing, basically what it does, it is so powerful, it can go through a herd of zombies as you guys are looking through the screen of what you've been seeing and stuff like that. So the next gun is a revolver new model. So basically this gun is pretty much beast and uh, it sets perfectly in this buried theme, the western theme. Then it has the revolver and it just kind of goes and blends in with like the cowboy look and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool and... Uh, this gun is a beast, so up to round 20, I'm not sure above 20, but uh, it's a one-shot kill gun, so I'm not sure if it's a one-shot kill gun above the round 20, because uh, my friend, he played with it uh, through the round 20, and it was one-shot kill, so I'm not sure what is the, uh, the lowest level or the highest level that you can go for it to be a one-shot kill, so knowing that it's a one-shot kill gun uh, all the way up to round uh, 20 if that doesn't prove anything that's a pretty beast of a gun so the paralyzer it is kind of like a uh, gun it does travel through so for like trains of zombies but for tight situations I would not recommend it not one bit so it doesn't kill the zombies automatically, or uh, it, it kind of does paralyze them, but you have to hold it down for a little while for it to fully paralyze them, or to uh, kind of explode them, and uh, it kind of sounds like a telephone ring. I remember when this was the very first weapon that I ever pulled out of the box, my very first time playing Buried, and I remember uh, right when I went to go fire the gun, I could have swore it was my phone, so I had to literally... Uh, tell my friends to cover me uh, and I had to put my Astros down and look for the phone and try to uh, find it but really it was the gun that was ringing so it sounds kind of like a phone and uh, I don't know why it is but that's it sounds pretty cool I can't lie but uh when it comes to conclusion my favorite gun through all this is probably the ray gun mark 2 just because it can fire like a uh, like an automatic, it's three round burst, it can go through the train of zombies like no other, and the reload time is uh, pretty fast, because it's like putting in an SD chip into like your computer or your camera. So uh, that's why I like that the most. I mean, I do like the revolver a lot too, but the thing is that I think the reload time is just a little bit too slow for a uh, close encountered uh, map, kind of like buried. So maybe if it was in like... Uh, like transit or something it would be a little bit better but uh, unless you have speed cola I don't really see this being a gun that is uh, pretty useful so the paralyzer I absolutely hate to be honest I rather have those dual pistols like I mean like it's cool to have like a like a special wonder Waff, not wonder Waff, but like a uh, a uh, how can I describe this? A special gun, and I know it's pretty cool, but the thing is that when it comes to getting down business, doing your zombie killing and stuff, it's not really that useful. Like, I mean, like, maybe if you have, like, a couple friends helping you and stuff, but uh, if you're by yourself just playing solo, I would not recommend uh, going 
into a train of zombies with that gun in it. Maybe if you're far away and you just want some extra points. So, uh, so ray guns, my favorite gun. Let me know in the comments below if uh, what will what your favorite gun is through those three. If you played through them, and uh, if you're PS3 and uh, you're still thinking about maybe getting this uh, new uh, map pack or not, uh, my opinion is yes. It's just like a, it's pretty original. And, uh, it's just pretty cool. So, uh, thanks guys for watching the video. I mean, this was a pretty quick video. I, didn't, I actually didn't expect it to go by this fast. Uh, but thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try to pump up some more buried content. And, uh, check out my second channel, youtube.com slash battleclown2. I'm going to be uploading a lot of, uh, buried content through that and, uh, whatnot. So I'm going to be uploading a lot more on that. And, uh, so once again, thanks guys for watching and, uh, I'll talk to you guys.